Hello. Well, it's here. The moment has been prepared for. We knew it was coming. We didn't want to face the truth of it. We didn't want to face the reality that it was on its way, but sadly it's arrived. And now there's, there's no turning back. Yep, it's here. Season 24 of Doctor Who on Blu-ray. It's arrived today, for better or for worse. Things may never be the same again. humans welcome to my world of stuff yes it's here it's here season 24 a classic doctor who not very much classic about this if i'm honest this is a box set which i can't say i was particularly looking forward to as many of you know if you watch this channel and you should watch this channel so if you have stumbled across this review um, like and subscribe leave a comment you can even leave an abusive comment if you disagree with my opinion but do remember, opinion is just an opinion. Uh, yeah, I wasn't looking forward to this box set arriving. I've collected all the other uh, Blu-ray Doctor Who box sets, even fairly ropey ones I haven't got much time for, um, which uh, is basically the Trial of a Time Lord season and season 26, the final season in the classic series, the Sylvester McCoy's last run. But I've collected them because I'm a completist and these box sets are, as you know, if you're a collector, full of really unmissable special features from documentaries in-depth interviews behind the scenes things all sorts of bits and pieces which i think when this collection is complete if i'm still around when it's complete they will amount to a complete chronicle of the making of a television series particularly this one particular television series of course doctor who but like all long-running television series and bearing in mind not many have run as long as doctor who they go through ups and downs peaks and troughs and you have to take the rough with the smooth and as somebody who grew up on Doctor Who in the 60s and particularly in the 70s seeing the shows decline in the 80s was a difficult and a bitter pill to swallow and I think that for me the last three years of the show were a very very difficult time uh, you know history records that the BBC really didn't want the show they weren't interested they just sort of let it peter out and that led to what I felt were three very weak seasons um particularly the one which we've got in this box set here season 24 sylvester mccoy's first season of doctor who now i know that sylvester mccoy has his fans and i know a lot of people retrospectively perhaps have looked back at these episodes and think it was a golden era it wasn't a golden era although i understand that some people the them who discovered the show years after being cancelled they found something um persuasive in his back characterization and in in his stories um I think it got better in retrospect i look back at his episodes and think well, his second season was much better there was a stronger feel for what they were trying to do and over the years i have sort of read a lot of stuff and watched a lot of video material which looks back at this time in doctor who's history and how difficult it was to get this show made and how the script editor at the time andrew cartmel was really trying to turn the show around a bit like king canute unfortunately in the face of the tide of indifference and disinterest and frankly aggressive dislike from the bbc but i think you can see now in retrospect that they were making an attempt to do something and and make something out of a sales year this series however it's it's hard to argue that as far as i'm concerned uh because it contains some of the ropiest stories in doctor who's history and i appreciate they were made at a difficult time but even though i've sort of adjusted my opinion of the mccoy year over the years i still think that this is a shocking season with it, it sort of improves as it goes along but the first story time of the rani is a bit of a mess however and i'm getting around to an opening up unboxing this thing shortly i promise you it isn't the worst year in top two's history we weren't to know what was to come when the show came back and, and i think that much as i dislike a lot of the episodes in this box set and a lot of the production and a lot of the tone of the stories oh, 
well, still infinitely better than many of the episodes that Stephen Moffat uh, churned out during his era as the showrunner in more recent years. I mean, things like Let's Kill Hitler, uh, The Doctor, The Widow and The Wardrobe, The Husbands of River Song, and the frankly pointless Twice Upon a Time. I mean... What a load of old shit! <laughs> yes, thank you, Nan. I think that says it all. And I think those episodes, despite all the resources involved are inexcusable because at least in Doctor Who's dying days it was fighting against the tide in the modern era it's got a lot of money it's got a lot of support from the BBC and there's no excuse for stories as bad as that but that's not the point of this video is it the point of this video is to unbox this baby season 24 on blu-ray let's unbox it okay um yeah let's unbox it okay so here it is um just received from the nice man from Amazon, um, as usual, well packaged, looking good. Let's tear this baby open. Get rid of this box, and there it is. Season 24 of classic Doctor Who, starring Sylvester McCoy, Bonnie Langford, and in the last serial, Sophie Aldred making her debut as the fondly remembered Ace. Um, so here it is, it's the usual big chunky, but it actually looks like a wider set than we have uh, normally for these sets, which is unusual really, because let's remember we've got 14 episodes here across 8 discs, uh, so there's bags of special features, I mean that's what makes these sets so compelling and so irresistible, I mean this thing was publicised, I think it was back in January it was announced it was coming out, and I remember looking at the trailer and thinking, well there's one I can miss, a couple of hours later I was thinking, what are you talking about, you fool? You're not going to miss it because you haven't missed any of them. Um, I don't want a gap in my collection, even though this isn't a season I have a lot of fondness for. But, I mean, look at this packaging. It's this beautiful thing. Uh, obviously, it's got all the um, special features that were on the original DVD releases, but it's got... Uh, it's just hard to criticise the love and attention that are put upon these, these discs, um, these sets, put them together. And I know that certainly for the later seasons, there's a lot more archive material available to be plundered and put onto the disc. So here we have got, as it tells us on the back cover, exclusive extended versions of all four stories featuring untransmitted material and optional 5.1 surround sound. Um, longer versions of not very good episodes? Well, you pay your money, you, you take your choice, don't you? Uh, in conversation, Matthew Sweet chats to Sylvester McCoy about his life career and his time as the Seventh Doctor. That would be interesting. I spoke to Sylvester myself a few years ago. A few years ago? A few... A uh, couple of months ago, really. A few months ago, when he had a new horror film called The Owners released. Uh, really very nice blog. I've got no criticism with Sylvester McCoy, but I think the problem is Doctor Who didn't need him or somebody like him. They need somebody much more charismatic to drag it out of the doldrums. But... Um, that's a whole other issue again. Uh, we got behind the sofa four new episodes with an all-star lineup of classic Doctor Who guests. This is, these are the short episodes where the former Doctor Who cast members watch truncated versions of the episodes and pass comment on them. They're always good fun, but they're a bit sort of throwaway. Here's to the future. This is the one I'm going to watch first, a brand new feature-length documentary examining season 24 in detail. I hope this is going to be a sort of a warts and all look at the series, um, the problems that they had the lack of support from the BBC, the difficulty in getting the thing on the screen at all. I, uh, they do tend to sort of not shy away from the difficult areas of Doctor Who production on these discs, and I'm hoping that this will carry on the um, the tradition. We've also got the Doctor's Table, Sylvester McCoy, Bonnie Langford, Sophie Aldred and Clive Merrison, who is one of the guest stars of the second story, uh, Paradise Towers, uh, reminisce about their time making season 24. The documentary is including a brand new making of documentary for Delta and the Banner Men, which was the third story in the season, the one set in uh, 1950s holiday camp. Plus, you've got exclusive archive treats, a treasure trove of previously unavailable content from the BBC archives, studio and location footage. I understand that literally hours and hours and hours of unused footage um, to the original musical, uh, original studio and location tapes, and I believe there's also. Uh, 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 material from the rap party on Delta and the Bannermen, the Bannermen, which was filmed on location around Barry, not far away from me, uh, long before Doctor Who was actually based in South Wales. So, I mean, you can't criticise the, the wealth of material that's on these discs, um, which makes enduring the episodes a little easier. Let's take off the cellophane wrap and see what this thing actually looks like in all its wonderful glory. 
So here it is, uh, decellophaned, Doctor Who Season 24, as you can see, I mean, if you, you'll have seen all the other videos, but um, let's face it, mine's the one to watch. Uh, looking at these things in detail, uh, so you have the usual J card, which slips off quite easily. That's the J card, which has got all the um, details of what's... I'll just adjust this again a little bit. Um, it's got all the details that I've just gone through with you. The, the J cards are very nice. They're a nice little protective thingy. There's the box itself, which has got that... Um, and it's a nice image of Sylvester McCoy with Kate O'Mara as the Rani. Richard Briers as the caretaker, um, slightly eccentric performance from the Paradise Towers. You've got the um, Dragonfire Dragon Creature, and you've got Don Henderson as Gavrock in Delta and the Bannermen. You've got one of the Tetraps from Time of the Rani. Oh my god, I know too much about this stuff. And one of the cleaning robots from, uh, again, Paradise Towers. On the back is an unusual image it's TARDIS in flight being buffeted by. Um, an energy beam. You'll remember that this is one of the first scenes from Time of the Rani. Oh, just remembering that story, just saying the name, uh, which forces the TARDIS to crash land on the planet Lakersha where the Rani is lying in wait. <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> you open up the set, and here we have it. And there we have the set as it is. Whoops, all the discs flipping about there. This is obviously one of the. Um, major selling points of these sets i mean some of the classic sets are now being re-released um in a truncated form with the discs and all the material but it hasn't got this beautiful supporting material which you have here which is a beautiful image of the doctor and mel outside the tardis on paradise towers i believe which has a sort of a velcro covering opens up to reveal um, Doctor and Mel again and in the background you have Ace who's joined at the end of the series and then a very nice little image underneath of the TARDIS control room with the Doctor about to regenerate into his new form from his previous form that's a nice uh, nice little image and then you have what is usually just lay that down for a sec one of the highlights of course is the booklet um, really uh, in-depth 28-page booklet about the making of the season um, which has got just a brief sort of years to the future introduction and as usual these things are full of colour images beautiful pieces of original art and all the details about the production and the details of what's on the disc it's lovely really nice little items and again just shows the, the attention to detail that the BBC give these items um, which they wouldn't do to any other archive TV show you've also got a little new letter about other Doctor Who products that you might be interested in which we'll just put back in there um, so yeah it's another gorgeous looking set and then I won't go through them in order because it's just the discs the discs there with the Time of the Rani um, Time of the Rani 2 Paradise Towers Every story seems to have two discs devoted to it, which is quite nice, I suppose. Um, I suppose with the extended episodes, they need a bit more space. But as I say, disc eight there is the one I'll be going to first, because that's got the delicious special features, because honestly, I'm in no great hurry to watch these stories again. But I will watch them again, because I think it's only fair to... You know, I've not seen them for years. And like I say, some more recent horrors might have put this back into perspective. Uh, for me... So there you are, season 24, Doctor Who is out now. It's arrived today from Mr. Amazon Man. Uh, and, you know, all joking apart. And I think I was joking, really. I want to just get me back on screen, because that's what you really want to see. Um, you know, it's not my favourite run of classic series episodes. I'd much rather see another John Pertwee or Tom Baker season. Or I'd be interested to see what they do with the black and white seasons. But it will be nice to have that on the shelf, for completists' sake. You know, I am a completist at the end of the day when it comes to Doctor Who. And much as I might dislike certain eras and certain episodes, it's part of the story and you need to have them. So that's it. It's out now. I'll be digging into it tonight. So I'm, there'll be a review up on the Starburst magazine website quite soon, I would imagine. So I'll uh, let you know about that when it becomes available. Just put my murdering scissors away. Um, so yeah, that's season 24, Doctor Who, out now. If you've received your box set today, why not let me know what you think of it? Um, you may well disagree violently with what I've said today. 
um, which you're quite entitled to do so. But um, like I said, an opinion is just an opinion. So for now, like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment if you you know any thoughts you have about this season, this box set. What other box sets you'd like to see in the future? What favourite box sets have been so far? Come on, engage me a little bit. I'm not a monster. I'm a man. Uh, anyway, that's me for now. Until next time, don't forget to keep taking the stuff.